Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 29th of 2023. Well, it is titled the Landspout Tornado over Kansas. So what do we see here? Well, here it looks like we see a tornado inside another tornado. And in reality, this is what is sometimes called a land spout. Now, you may have heard of a water spout where something similar can occur over water and is a much milder version of a tornado. Now, the actual tornado itself is the central portion with the point down toward the bottom. But likely the material around it is dust coming out from the tornado that the tornado itself picked up and then surrounds it in this whirling mist. Now, as I said, in many ways, the land spout is similar to a water spout, but of course, forming over land instead of water. They're typically found around the edges of thunderstorms. So they're not associated with the big supercell thunderstorms where we get the really strong tornadoes. So they would not be as strong as those very massive tornadoes that can occur with the very large storms. But they are something different that occurs and actually a relatively recently cataloged phenomena. Actually, the name was came about in the mid 1980s. So it's not something that has been studied as a separate thing for all that long just for a few decades now. And here we get to see an image of one of those in our picture today. And in this case, we see not only the tornado at the center, but the entire area around that as well. Now, do tornadoes occur elsewhere in the solar system? Well, that's a good question. And in reality, this is the only place that we know of anything of these tornadoes that we see are only within our Earth. Now, storms do occur on other planets and we get things like dust devils on Mars and we get large systems of storms such as the great red spot on Jupiter and similar things on other large planets. But whether anything like this occurs elsewhere in our solar system is a very good question and nothing that we have found so far shows any objects like this that can form elsewhere. In order to form, you would need planets with relatively similar conditions. And Mars is probably about the closest. But the atmosphere is so thin now, about 1 100th the thickness of Earth's atmosphere, that it would be very difficult for any kind of massive storms like this to form. So that was our picture of the day for November 29th of 2023. It was titled, A Landspout Tornado Over Kansas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, preview to be flight day 13. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.